Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable Online. I am a uh, lab assistant Siri here with my lovely rose stone and our adorable little thistle down and it appears when you leave Yorvik City, when you are actually still within the city, you will pop right back out at Fort Pinta, which is a really nice way to very quickly and rapidly get yourself back out here if you don't want to have to like jump on the bus and ride the bus all the way back over to uh, the main horse land area. Oh, we're going to get hit by this bus. Move, rose stone, move. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, don't run off this rose stone. Oh my gosh. Okay. There we go. Well, that was a little bit of an exciting moment. But yes, so it looks like that's how the buses work. So if you are over in the city and you pop out of the game while you're in the city, you'll just pop back over to Fort Pinta Approach, which is really wonderful. So I'm very happy to see you, Rose Stone. And we will be going on adventures with you tomorrow, especially because we still have so much to do for the councilman. Ah, turn, turn. All right. And give Rose Stone a little pat on the head. We have a lot of adventures to do for Christmas still, especially for the councilman. We have a lot of adventures that we need to do for Santa. We have a whole lot of really awesome Christmas wishes we need to turn in, but I want to finish looking and seeing what secrets the city holds for us. So hang in here, Rose Stone. This will down. You two be good. And we're going to go ahead and run on over. So I think you can just grab your bus ticket and then jump back in. Look at that. And you can pick where you want to go. Okay, you guys. So last time we went to Aiden's Plaza. And we actually came up with some really great theories about what the whole furniture shop thing is about. And I think we have the answer. All right, let me run over here. Oh, the pigeons, I love them. I guess those ones are like doves because they look a little bit lighter than the pigeons. So let's go look at the pigeons. Oh, isn't this area so amazing? I'm so excited to see how many of you are just enjoying it so much. Pigeons! Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, there's another pigeon. They're just so cute. I wish I could feed them. If you could come over here and just like toss food to them, it would make me so happy. Oh, look at him. Look at him. He's just hopping by. Oh, this is the best. All right. But last time we did some quests that gave us some really interesting hints at what I think are going to be some new features in the future such as the piece of furniture that is paint and the piece of furniture that is this couch. And so what I think those are actually going to be for after talking with you guys is for your my stable. If we remember our my stable actually has all of those big open rooms. And I said, hey, it's too bad you can't have uh, like friends over to have a party here, remember? Well, what if all of these furniture pieces are for the my stable? Researcher Siri believes that that may potentially be the case. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, and I would really, really love to decorate the my stable and that would make sense. Oh, look at them. I love how they're just like checking out the furniture store there. That's so cool. Or furniture store, what the heck? I meant produce shop. Why did I say furniture store? I don't know, don't mind me, you guys. Clearly I just need some fresh watermelon to kind of refresh my mind. Uh, let's go ahead. I actually want to go to Pier 13 today and kind of see what it has available. Those are those little traveling pants. So I guess we need to go back over to the trolley system. I love this. This is just such a cute little street setup. This is very, I guess this is European to me. I don't know anywhere in the United States that looks anything like this. All right, let's go ahead and jump on the trolley system. So Governor's Fall is where we went last time. And that had the ice cream. That's also where we met the health inspector. Next station, Pier 13. Well, we'll go there next. <gasps> the pigeons! Oh, you little birdies, I love you. Oh, they're so cool. So this, can I come and just like sit over here maybe? Oh, it's so cute. They're like little ladybug napkin holders. That reminds me of Miraculous Ladybug, actually. I love how there's so many people just kind of sitting and relaxing and just enjoying the city. Also, this sign cracks me up. No horses? Where do you think we are? Come on, we should be allowed to have horses somewhere around here. In fact, I wonder if there's gonna be some sort of like special city horse racing area that opens up in the future. That would be amazing. But I just love, I love how many places there are to explore now. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. All right, so I think what we're really gonna go for is we'll go ahead and check out Pier 13. But I do think that you guys who have suggested the furnitures for the My Stable are right on target. So we might go back to our My Stable and kind of take a little peek over there. Yeah, in the future. Oh, and but for now, I do wanna put on my new shirt that we got from here too. Look at that, that city top, everything we've got together. Man, I love this. We're looking really good. 
And look at the little plants. Oh, it's my favorite little plants. I swear I love these little purple things. They were one of my favorite things about Fort Pinto when we first went there. And the traffic that rushes by. All right, so I guess you have to like wait over here for the trolley system to show up in order to be able to leave the area. Look, there's even like little cans and little newspapers. Oh, and there's little flowers over here too. Oh, I can't believe I missed all of these details last time. Oh, here comes the trolley system. Okay, so I guess it comes and stops over here. Oh, I love that Lily of the Valley. It's one of my favorite flowers. And you can just jump onto it. And we're gonna spend the day at Pier 13 today. So we already explored all of the other city secrets. And now we're gonna come and see what Pier 13 Ooh, this is definitely a big shift. And actually, you know what this feels like? Standing here all by myself without Roaster and the Thistledown with us? This really feels like we're suddenly, suddenly the investigators. Like we're taking on a whole new role. It's one thing when we have our horse with us, but it's a whole nother thing when we're here all by ourselves. It really does feel like a whole different game, actually. Not in a bad way, just very interesting way. All right, is there anything here? Nothing that I can particularly see, but let's go ahead and check out the edges of the pier. Maybe we can find some hidden secrets. So we've got some broken windows up there. Pier 13, huh? Hmm, you know what this reminds me of, actually? We need to go to South of Peninsula because Madison is very worried about missing ponies there. And there's a little update on the quests that are happening in that direction that I think may be tied in with this. So now we're starting to become mystery sleuths. Let's go ahead and kind of poke around a little bit. Aha, uh -huh, there's a car. Can I read the license plate? That's broken. Okay, let's see. Sasa. Hmm. Hmm, not butler one, so, oh, and then, hey, what's this? Mr. T, what's going on down here? Are those crab baskets? Oh my gosh, is he, is he going crabbing here? Mr. T. Cray, all right, Mr. T. Cray. Look, a land crab, huh. Does this crab have a name by any chance? Saga, nice to meet you. My name is Mr. T. Cray. Hey, speaking of crabs, do you know that this harbor once used to be run by crayfish? It's true! Finally, the mayor had enough and banished the crayfish here to Pier 13. Since I am a true crayfish friend, I have offered crayfish a new home in the form of crayfish cages placed in the water. You can almost call them a house for crayfish. Oh my goodness, what is this about, fellow, fellow biology lover? A crayfish house! Ha! Huh. Oh, the crayfish cages! It's lucky you're here, Saga. You see, I've injured my back, which makes it hard for me to lift the crayfish cages out of the water. If you stand on the quay side right behind, beside me and look down, you should see them floating down there. If you help me lift up the crayfish cages, I'll tell you more about the harbor when you're finished. The crayfish cages, huh? All right, so we're going to be helping this gentleman right here. Let's go down and we'll pull up the crayfish cages. Crayfish are... Basically, to my knowledge, and I could be wrong about this, like teeny tiny little lobster sort of things. How do I reach them? Do I just need to come kind of on the side? Okay, got that one. No! Oh my gosh, I tumbled so far off and got kicked all the way over here. We've got to be very careful. We almost drowned in Pier 13, and that's not going to help us whatsoever. I need Rose Stone here. It's really, really, really weird to be running around without my horse and Star Stable. <laughs> But I guess that I guess that makes sense and I guess that may mark a little bit of a shift in how everything works in Star Stable too. If you're starting to wander around some without your horse That's kind of why I'm glad if that the furniture may actually turn out to be for your my stable than anything. No Darn it. I fell off twice, but we're okay <laughs> Apparently I can't really walk on the slippery pier very well. Maybe I need to have some rain boots on all right, let's go ahead and talk to him now that we've gathered up his crayfish baskets. And I wonder why the crayfish used to like rule the harbor. How is he keeping them from exploring elsewhere? Fish-tastic saga. By the way, do you know something else that's fish-tastic? Fish Pier 14, built in 1952. Hmm, thank you, sir. Did you know that Pill 14 was built by ants? Ha! Huh. Did you fall for that one, saga? Actually, it was a Frenchman known as Pierre Quartzer, or 
Kortzer, who was visiting. He felt that something was missing, and as fast as a fish, a new pier was ordered. Legend has it that it was flown here in a Zeppelin. I'm... I'm thinking we should maybe leave this man alone now and, and, and sneak back over to greener pastures because I'm really not sure about him anymore. Oh, that reminds me. I forgot to put out new crayfish cages by the quayside across from Pier 14. Would you be so kind as to do that for me? I don't really want to overexert my back. When you come back, I'll tell you something incredibly interesting about Pier 12. Okay, I have no idea what this man is, is even talking about. And we're at Pier... We're at... Pier 13. So how am I going to put them over by the other piers? I am so incredibly confused. I think... I, I don't know if we should trust that guy. I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do with these, but I guess I have crayfish to take care of. So do I need to get over to a, a specific area somewhere along the water? Like over here? Is this where I need to be? I mean, I would assume this would be like the next pier. Um, this is so much more confusing than I think it should be. Maybe, I wonder, I'm really, maybe we just need to go back down? So this is a little confusing. Confused about crayfish, hmm. All I know is that they're kind of like tiny lobsters. And didn't we go crayfish fishing with uh, the fishermen over at Salt Hook Peninsula? We actually do need to go talk to them again because Madison is pretty worried. Can I put down, do I, do I just need to come over here? Sir, I'm not sure what you want me to do with these. Time to catch some crayfish. Hang on, can you, uh, yes. But where do I go with these cages? <laughs> Even more crayfish houses. Uh, like, Furthest away from Mr. Oh, so maybe just the other side? Hmm, the quay side. I've actually never really heard what a quay side means. Um, over there? Or just the quay side over here? Yeah, maybe it's down here. Okay, we'll run down this direction. See, we're problem solvers. We can figure this out, even if I really don't know about. Aha! That's more like it. Okay, now we've got it. Now we've got it. All right, I've never heard of the phrase quayside either. So, uh, oh, look at the seagulls. But see, sometimes it's about the adventure in trying to figure out what you're doing on a quest because I would have never found these seagulls over here if we hadn't come over here to try to put down little houses for the crayfish, which with seagulls right next to us means that we probably are feeding said seagulls some crayfish. Yes, they didn't fall into the water. And I'm learning how to be able to navigate around the water without falling in, which is always a good thing. Oh, there you go. All right, you gotta be open to adventure if you wanna stumble on unexpected surprises. All right. Fish-tastic saga, you've got talent for this. Perhaps there's a little fisherman in you after all. Without Pier 12, the harbor wouldn't be around anymore. That's where Kai's wolf slipped and fell into the water. Oh good, so somebody famous has done it too. On him, he had a huge, he had a contract allowing the harbor to be torn down and replaced by huge garbage from the land, for the land crabs. I'm a little worried about this gentleman, but that's okay. He seems harmless enough. Luckily, the contract was destroyed by the salty water. Saga, I just realized I don't have anywhere to store the crayfish. Could you go and get a steel barrel for me? I would have liked to help you carry it, but I think it's best for my back if I don't. Also, the crayfish might get lonely if I leave. There should be a steel barrel by the fence near the old warehouse building. All right. I don't have my horse with me, so it seems a little bit odd to like be able to, well, you know what, if it's empty, I should be able just to just roll it. All right, picking it up. And let's go back. So we're helping out crayfish. <laughs> very, very confusing crayfish, but at least we're getting this done. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. I will accept all of these claws. Do you want to give me some high fives, guys? Look at this, look at this, look at these high fives. <gasps> This is awesome! I am so excited! Look at them! Oh my gosh, little snappers! What do you think, Mr. T. Cray? Fishtastic Saga! Have you ever wandered along the quayside and felt those huge cravings for salmon? Um, no. You haven't? Strange. Saga, while you were away getting that still barrel, something incredible happened. My back! It suddenly feels much better. 
Hey Saga, how about you keep this barrel with the crayfish in it? Now that my back feels better, it's once again time to go out to the sea and catch some salmon. Ship ahoy, Saga! My jaw is on the ground. That's why I went silent. My jaw is on the ground. Because we now have a piece of furniture that's a crayfish barrel with claws that just wiggle around. <laughs> I can't believe this. I mean, I was prepared for normal things like paint and a sofa that nobody wants. But a barrel full of crayfish? What kind of amazing things are we going to possibly be able to get and put inside of our stable if that's what we're going to be able to do with these? I'm so, my mind is so blown right now. I am so excited. Also, I love how she's dressed behind me. That's very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, that's amazing. That's amazing. Can I get up here? Darn. I'm... I had no idea that was going to happen, and I'm actually very, very excited and pleased by that. So that's fantastic, and now I'm kind of curious. Let's, ah, uh, nobody can pick me up right now from all the way over here. So let's go ahead, and we're actually going to go back to Fort Pinta, because I think we have explored and poked everything we can do here. Um, we should go to our My Stable, I think. Let's go back to Fort Pinta. We're going to jump on Rose Stone. We are going to return to Steve's farm because that's where we have our little my stable set up for today. All right, come on, Rose Stone. And we're going to go ahead. Come on. Oh, it's so nice. I mean, exploring the city is so much fun, but it is so, so nice to be back among all of the forest areas and to just have all of the birds singing and to be with Rose Stone. You know, one of the things I really, really love about being here in Star Stable is the constant companionship we have in our beloved Rose Stone and Thistledown and everybody else. Man, and being without them, it just feels way too surreal. I mean, I enjoy running around the city, but it's almost like you would want to run around the city with your club or with your friends, because otherwise, when you don't have your companions with you... Oh, is this our stable care helper? <gasps> That's so cool! Oh, we need to give her a name. What's your name? You're dumping water all over you, but that's okay. And she's the one who takes care of my horses. This is so cool that she shows up too. Oh, I love that. I wonder if in the future, because we have we already have kind of started to figure out maybe we can start putting crayfish barrels and everything around the place. But I wonder if in the future, when it comes to all of this furniture, we might be able to add even more rooms. So not just the stables, but add in more rooms as well. So so what do we have over here? Because look, there's this room over here and this is storage and everything like that. And then we also have, I think, another storage room right over here. So what if you can add in, instead of having like apartments in the city or anything like that, or a house in the city, what if you can just like have an extra room upstairs or an extra room added on that could be like a little meeting room I, w I wish your friends could maybe visit your stables though because i imagine that would be really great for everybody who has clubs and things like that oh this is so awesome all right and let's put away some of the things we've got then so i guess there would need to be a new tab as well because how am i going to get the furniture out of my does it go under gear because I don't think I could get the furniture out of my inventory right now, which is kind of a little bit interesting, but I'm sure we'll be able to cope with that later. All right, and we'll put the gifts away. I really loved seeing so many of you go, yeah, the saddlebags will probably work like that because um, they've started to change the wording to left sa or to right saddlebag. So we might get some left saddlebags at some point in the future. That is so exciting. I love my lab coat, by the way. And let's make sure I'm wearing... Let's see. The brown woolen hat is not as effective as the, the green cross-country helmet. And the winter sweater is nowhere near as effective <laughs> as the vest I have on. So we can put away the winter sweater. And the orange sweater we can put away. Uh, and we can just wear this nice little city top to kind of celebrate being in the city. We have so many clothes. What I, what I should probably do one day, maybe in a stream just for fun, uh, is sort of organize our closet, which sounds really boring, but who knows what kind of surprises we might stumble on in doing that. And these pants are actually the same. And you know what? I actually kind of like the way it does the teal and the, the uh, purple together. It doesn't entirely match, but it's not terrible. All right, and we'll take these fall pants and put them away. So I've made a little bit more space in our, in our, yeah, there we go. 
made a little bit more space. And we do have to go help Santa again, though. Oh, and that reminds me, I do have a Santa hat. So next time, we will go and we will be helping Santa. So let me grab my Santa hat, which I did find. Thank you guys for letting me know it did show up. And maybe my, let's see, Isabel stage costume. Where did I stick? I should have a dress in here. See, I wish you could like search this a little easier. Oh, I have a witch dress. Yeah, I've got a little witch dress, which is really fun. And then I should have, oh, look, here's my, my little midsummer dress. Oh, I loved that quest. That was so much fun. I love looking at all of these and just seeing so many memories already. Isn't it fantastic? My fairy dress. Oh, my scary Halloween dress. Oh, this really is fantastic just to see so many memories like pop back in already. Um, that's my mermaid top. I, I swear I should have. Oh, yeah, I remember that when we got the green autumn jacket so we could go undercover. That was really fun, too. I think the green autumn jacket would be something okay to wear on top of. Let's try this out. See, that should work out okay. Yeah, look, that's a good Christmas helper outfit because it's practical, but it's also warm and it has a little bit of a Christmas uh, Christmas twist to it. All right, well, we're good to go. Oh, that's so awesome. All right, come on, Rose Stone. Hello, everybody. It's so nice to see all of you. Love you all. So excited that you all have the little pets. And one of the things I'm really excited about, if we have a crayfish barrel, so there's like animation and movement with the claws, then what's to stop us? And let's go ahead and come over to Steve and we'll do a little race just to kind of wrap up the day. Let's go ahead and do Steve's race to help Rose Stone out. Get her closer and closer to level 15. But if we have a crayfish barrel, what about that pet bed that we saw at the furniture shop? What if you can take the pets from the saddlebag and you can put them down into a pet bed and they could just like roll around and lay next to the pet bed? How adorable would that be? I would just have pet beds everywhere and I would just feel like I had some sort of pet rescue going on inside of my mice stable. That would be amazing. And actually, how fun would it be if you could like work really hard for a rescue group uh, somewhere in Star Stable? And what if you like paid a fee to the rescue group and you earned reputation with them? And the higher the reputation you had, then when you decide you're going to like rescue a new horse, you can submit like a a kind of flat fee and then they would pick a random horse for you like you could get a random horse and the higher your reputation the maybe rarer or higher skilled or maybe even randomly skilled that horse could be that would be really fun <laughs> but now I'm just daydreaming I'm just so amazed out of every MMORPG I've ever played Star Stable really does so much amazing work at updating everything and it's just so much fun and I barely scratched the surface with the quest there you go, Rose Stone. Oh, yeah, new personal best. I wasn't even wearing, like, the good gear. I'm just happy and excited, and we're having a great time. Let's come over and talk to Steve. There we go. Rose Stone has gained a little bit more experience. And the next time, you guys, we are going to head back into Silverglade Village. We are going to help out the councilman with setting up everything in here. And we may even ride down to Moreland or ride over to Yarlaheem to go visit with Santa a little bit so we can turn in our Christmas wishes. This is fantastic. This is amazing. Oh, and then we will try to go over and figure out what's happening at South Hoof Peninsula at some point, too, uh, since I know that there's some some worries about something happening to the wild ponies over there and i hope you guys are all having a wonderful day so i'll see you next time bye bye